and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm your host, Chris Doman, a.k.a. the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker. All right, this is it. This is our second title match right before the Ultimate Fan Schmodown Tournament. And, of course, we have our main event, which is our current champion, Jonas Stowell, taking on his challenger, Jacob Blunden, in our first rematch of all things. Holy crap. Before we get to that bit of awesomeness, we have an undercard match that has been getting some hype. Evan, thoughts on today's undercard match? Um, look, we have Lucas Schulbach. He had a rough first outing. He said he didn't know half the movies in the, um, that were that were asked to him. But um, I've talked to him. All I think it's very well known that Lucas knows a crap ton about movies, but his competitor obviously does too. Answering twelve, get, getting twelve points in his last match, uh, Super Brad. So I'm extremely excited. It, now this is one about uh, one proving himself and the other trying to make it back from a very devastating loss. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of our competitors, um, let's let's meet them. We have uh, a, a good friend of the channel. He last time you guys saw him, he was on our uh, up on our rankings video. That being the one, the only Lucky Luke, Lucas Schildbach. Luke, how you feeling, man? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, yeah, last match didn't go well. But to be fair, the difference between me and Subrath is that third round question. We have basically the same point total. If I hit that third round question, I, I feel confident today that if I get slightly better luck, I get slightly better luck today, I think I can win this. All right. And his opponent, um, as I like to call him, our our biggest fan and our biggest kiss ass, that being Subrath Sharma. Of all the people in the world, he could have picked someone else. He could have picked Evan. Evan deserves to, uh, uh, to, you know, take a shot. Well, what's, what's the point in beating Evan? It's like beating something that's already dead. That is true. Because <laughs> at, at, to be fair, Stuart, at least you would give him a fight. Sorry, Evan. I still think this is going to be a great match. And speaking of, let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fan Movie Trivia Showdown. Introducing first, with a record of no wins, one defeat. He is pretty much the Frank Janish of this league, even though Frank Janish is in it, and he is damn good with stats, damn good with rankings. Give it up for Lucky Luke, Lucas Schildbach. And his opponent, with a record of no wins, one defeat. He was defeated by a sudden death Star Wars question. But other than that, he has proven he actually knows quite a few things when it comes to movies, especially recent ones. Give it up for the Wraith, Subrath Sharma! All right, let's get ready to go, Chris. It's not just going to be something else to say the least. Something else to say the least. So, round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will be given four questions from four categories and sets of twos. Each question is one point apiece, and there is no stealing in this round. Subrath, because you are the yeah. higher ranked competitor, that makes you the favorite going into this match. Would you like to go first or second? What, me? I'll go second go. then. I'll second. Go second? Okay. And Lucas, please choose yeah, either from category one or category two. Well, I'm better, so let's go category one. Oh my god. I, I like this. I like this. Okay. We saw this coming. We did. We definitely did. All right. Now, Please Evan, I'll have you read to Superath in this round, and I will read to Lucas in Category 1. All right. Lucas, your first question in the category of comic book movies. The climax of 2000, 2000's X-Men takes place in what famous landmark? It's, um, is it Devil's Tower? Ooh, I'm sorry, Ooh. I was looking for the Statue of Liberty. All right, second question in the category of drama. Rosebud is a very important name in which 1940s Six drama? Citizen Kane. Yeah, there so, we go. Okay. There we go. That, that's, a, that's like a Lucas question from the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> All so right, the now we're moving, Rosebud, I know the answer. Now we're moving back over to Sabrath. Uh, in the realm of comic book movies, who played the, who played the titular character in 1997's Spawn? Wait, wait, I, I know 
Michael J. White. Whoa! That is correct. Nice. My All right. Movie. They should, should, they should have made a sequel. All right, your your next question. Here, you pronounce the second name. Joel Barish yeah. and Clementine Krasinski are lovers in what 2004 drama? What Bad Mountain? No, that is incorrect. Sadly, it is uh, Jacob's uh, haunting movie, Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Okay, and Lucas, we come back over to you. In the category of comedy. Name one of the two Oscars that Home Alone was nominated for. Comedies too get nominated for an Oscar. Uh, um, does Screenplay? Ooh, sorry. I was looking for either best original song or best original score. Uh, I can guess. I don't know. Okay. And your final question in the category of action adventure. In which country do Jaws and James Bond meet each other for the first time in The Spy Who Loved Me? Hmm. Wow, Sabrath, surprised. Never seen this movie. Lucas may be feeling some of the heat. Yeah, not really. Uh, and five. Uh, can you repeat the question, please? He's lucky we don't have a JTE rule yet. In, oh, which country, don't have one. in which country do Jaws and James Bond meet each other for the first time in The Spy Who Loved Me? Japan. That's not a bad guess. I was looking for Egypt. Alright. Alright, we're throwing it back over to Sabrat. In the realm of comedy, who directed Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Was it Robert Zemeckis? That is nice. correct. He takes the lead with that. My God. Sabrath, really impressing right now. In the realm of action adventure, according to Morpheus, what year does he guess they're actually in the original Matrix? What did you see here? In five? 2005 or something. 2005. Yeah, uh, nothing, good nothing, guess. Nothing, we yeah. were looking for 2,199. 193 years old. So we're coming out of this um, first round with, with Zubrath with two points and Lucas with one point. Um, not too bad for both competitors. It's the first round slump. We'll see how they can get back together in round two. That's true, that's true. So, and we have round two, here's how it will go. Each competitor will choose a number between one through eight, which pertains to either a certain movie category or their choice of personal preference or rival's preference. You may, you will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with the second option if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece. No multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. Subrath, you are currently in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first. Okay. Categories are Tom Hanks, Fantasy Sci-Fi, Animated, Drama, scores and soundtracks, and movie release date is your other category. Donde esta? Please pick a number between one through eight, Super. Okay. I'll pick two. That is the category of animated. Would like to stick with that or go for something else? I wanted to go somewhere, something else, but I'm afraid I will hit that opponent's preference, so I'll just take a risk. Okay. I'll stick with it. He's taking a chance right. with animated. I will read him his questions. All right, Sabrath. It's very much anticipated round two. 
uh, in the realm of animated movies to get the breastplate, Kubo has to swim in a garden of what in Kubo in Two Streams? Multiple choice. A, ears, B, tons, C, eyes, or D, toes? Eyes. That, that is correct for one point. That, That's a very tough question in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Good, good work by Tabra. I've not seen it. All right. Movie. What are the names? Your next question. What are the names of Cinderella's evil stepsisters? Multiple choice. A. Anastasia and Drazilla. B. Aunt Amalia and Donna. C. Anna and Diana. Or D. Alexandra and Daphne. 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 I'll pick A. That's correct for another point. Yes, he's worried about this category, but he's getting away with those one pointers. Good work by Sabra. Yes. Your next question <clears throat> What type of insect goes with Mushu and Mulan to combat training? It's not Mushu, it's a cricket. Oh my wow. god. <sighs> Is it correct? Yeah, yeah. Lucas has to be feeling the pressure oh. now. All right, and your next question. What Disney, not Pixar movie, got the most Oscar nominations? Not Pixar. No, sir. In five, four, three, multiple choice. All right, A, Aladdin, B, The Lion King, C, The Little Mermaid, or D, Beauty and the Beast? Lion King. Oh, Lucas, Lucas would you like steal. to steal? Pretty sure it's huge. Beauty and the Beast? That's that correct. is correct. Wow, what a huge steal for Lucas there. Um, Here's the thing, if Sabrath gets that point, Lucas is in trouble, but now, now Lucas has some space to come back in round two. He definitely Ooh. does, so now, Lucas. Categories this round are fans of sci fi, movie release dates, drama, scores and soundtracks, and Tom Hanks. You know, Lucas is going for that drama category. Please to know between one through eight, and two is off the table. I'll take four. That is the category of fans of sci fi. Would you like to stick with that or go for something else? You know what? I'm going to stick with it. Whoa. Right. Okay. Well, let's see how it pays off. Here we go. First question, category of fantasy sci-fi. What is Cassie and Andor's rank in Rogue One? Uh, fuck. Five, four, three. Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Commander, B, Captain, C, General, D, Lieutenant. I think it's Captain. That's correct for one point. That's what I was thinking originally. Just... Alright. Okay. Second question. What is the name of the forest where Mary and Pippin find Treebeard in... Bangor. Lord... Oh, Lucas, Dude, no hesitation there. I know my Lord of the Rings. Right. Good. Third question. Who plays director Lamar Burgess in Minority Report? Uh, multiple choice. Okay, your options are A, Colin Farrell, B, Tim Blake Nelson, C, Max von Sydow, D, Tom Choi. Max von Sydow. That's correct. Wow. Tie game. We are now tied up, 6-6. Six, six. And for your final question on the category of fancy sci-fi. What type of dinosaur kills Dennis Nedry in Jurassic Park? Velociraptor? Ooh, like Chance, chance steel. steel. Oh, shit. I know it's the one with this. Uh, uh, Dilophosaurus. Wow. Wow. Oh, no. Lewis, the breath takes the lead. Eight to six, going into the third round. And it will go as such. Each competitor will be given the year, genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. 
If they know the answer from that information alone and they guess correctly, they'll receive five points. However, if two more keywords are needed, the total possible goes down to three points. Sorry. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible goes down to one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Subrath, because you are in the lead, please choose either movie number one or movie number two. Number two. Okay. Number two. Yep. yep. Okay. Evan, read Lucas his movie. All right, Lucas, your year is 1997. Your genres are oh. drama. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Your, all right, well, sorry. Your year is 1997. Your genres are drama and romance. And your three plot keywords are artist, forbidden love, and leak. Artist, Forbidden Love, and Leak. <sighs> Should I risk it? So I have a really good guess here. And five. Four. Titanic. Five that points! Is correct. To five Lucky points. Luke. The risk paid off. All right. Now, but luckily for Subrath, he can miss his question altogether, and he will not lose the game. But... It's going to help if he can at least pick up the three to tie it up. All right. Subrath, your year yeah. is 1986. Your genre, comedy. And your first three plot keywords are school, Chicago, and best friend. I'll just, uh, I have to need, uh, I need two more. Okay. okay. Your next two nice. keywords are principal and garage. Guess this is not an X Men movie. Oh. Here's five, four, three, two. I need a, uh, the last one. Okay. Faking sure, illness is your last. Keyword. Come on, Subrath. Come on. Oh, getting into the sand. I just remembered it. I, I, I just remembered it. Parents Bureau's deal. That's, That's correct, correct for one point. One point. So now we are going into the final round with Subrath having nine and Lucas in the lead with 11 points. And with that, we'll come into round four and it will go as such. I have five questions in front of me. The competitor who is behind will get to go first. Basically, and then we answer questions back and forth until either our winner is determined or we go to a sudden death. So, no pressure. No okay. pressure at all. Now, Subrath, at, at best, you can only miss one question, and Lucas would have to miss both to go to sudden death. But other than that, are you ready? Yeah. That's okay. Right. The category is song titles. I'm asking you to name the movie from the song. Here we go. Your first song title. Another Way to Die. One of Solis. Wow! Wow. <laughs> Ten points from Sabrat there. Okay. Alicia Keys. All right, back, back to Lucas. What? Lucas. Um, what movie does the song Damn It Janet come from? Damn Yankees. I'm correct, you're looking for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, As we have a cameo from Chris's mom. Chris, back to you. Yes, <laughs> yes. Alright. Subrath. Subrath, your next film. Or your next your next song title. Why can't the English learn to speak? Why did I get this one? Super fucking easy. And five, okay. four, four, three. Sweeney Todd, Demon Barber. It's a movie that won Best Picture. My Fair Lady. <laughs> yes, Lucas. Yes. Lucas a bit, a yeah, bit like, heated. But if right. Lucas Everyone hits this question, he wins. If he hits this question, I've he wins. I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay. Lucas. I got this. Four. All right. What movie does the song Guilty as Charged come from? 
Chicago? Incorrect. We were looking for the song Walk. Oh, we were looking for the movie Walk Hard. The Dewey Cox story. I just fucking watched that movie. So, Brath must hit this question. To go with a tiebreaker. Oh. This is a must hit for Brath and Lucas wins. Otherwise, Lucas wins. So, Sue Brath, the song title is Into the West. Going with the win. One. Chris, and the your board. winner! Lucky Luke! Lucas Schildbach! We were looking for Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Even after a Enya. very shaky round four from Lucas, he still comes oh, out man. on top. He will be a wild card in the tournament. Chris Dolman. <sighs> Whoa, what are your reactions to this match? Man, this is this is this is a, another tight one. I mean, look, Subrath, dude, I know you probably feel down on yourself, but do not be ashamed. You are still performing solidly. It's just every time you're just like, get someone just that much better than you, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. How are you feeling? <laughs> I, I I just have to give him full credit for what he He, I mean, after the second round, I thought he just. You know, he was just, you know, um, alter and fall behind. And, but he came back with that third round question. How did he pull that up? I didn't know. How did I miss that fair view question? I don't know. I, I, could, I should have gone like three points of that. You know, just the same. It happens. It is what it is. And yeah. our winner, Lucas. Dude, how are you feeling? Oh man, oh, Chris, this feels amazing. Uh, I thought I was gonna fucking blow it in that third round. I felt so stupid the minute I said those things. The, the walk hard question is the one that really pisses me up because I watched that movie yesterday. I don't know how the fuck I missed that. Just, man, uh, that third round question, it's, it's the decider. I mean, the difference between my performance this time and last time is that third round question. It's the exact same score last exactly. time minus the third round question. I need to figure out how to play this game better because I make way too many easy mistakes. Man, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to win, uh, and I'm gonna be better the next time you see me. Uh, final thought: Great match. Um, Super Ad yet again scoring a crap ton of points, but can't come out through. Lucas actually proving he knows his uh, his movie knowledge, as he likes to claim, because he's super intellectual and whatnot. Um, and yeah, intellectual is the word. <laughs> I, I purposely muffed it on purpose. Um, it's a great match, and I what a great way to start off this big event that we have going on or an undercard match going into the championship which speaking of okay now evan it's time for you to say goodbye sorry and super lucas thanks for your time it's time for you guys to say goodbye but now guys i'm going to take it over to a little thing we've got prepared for you and here we go I am building up a you are going down. You need a camera so I can see the life leave your fucking eyes. The lake house. The lake house. The lake house. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Y'all know it's our Dan Merle. And your winner! And champion. Let's just say, I don't want to hear of any more doubters now. Every match I've had, there's been doubters. How, what do I have to do? Who do I, do I have to beat? What, do I have to beat John Roker to prove to people? Chris will remember, I said from the start, that title is mine. What did I tell you? I told you. I am the champion. The champ is here. And your winner! The Aussie Shakeup London! Listen. I beat you in that first round. You got nothing. And, and you will suffer, suffer from me. <laughs> We're back, and I, like I said, Evan, you know, I, you did great hosting that first match, but come on. For the title match, I had to bring 
the Ellis to my Harlock, the assassin, Case Cornelisa. Case, is the hype real or what? <laughs> um, is the Pope a uh, Roman Catholic? <laughs> I mean, come on! It's a badge, come on! This has been hyped for so long, and it's going to be great. I, I can't wait for it, I want to get into it. Uh, because, like, Jacob, um... He had a tough loss against Jono last time, uh, but he's been, he's been out for blood since that loss. He, he's been like on fire uh, beating Sausland and he, he just wants to get it on. But then we have Jono and he hasn't lost a match yet. And yeah, I, I wonder if we'll see it today. I, I just, I don't know. Uh, both are great competitors, so I just can't wait to see it. Yeah, I could not agree more. And speaking of, let's... Let's introduce them up to bat first, our challenger in this title match. The Aussie, Jacob Blunden. Jacob, we, we, we've been here before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> how are we feeling, man? <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm sweating. It's midnight. And I want to get this over and done with. And I'm not going to sleep at all. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Fair enough. Fair enough. And, of course, we have our champion, Jono, welcome back to the ring. How does it feel having your first uh, title defense be a rematch? Uh, yeah, it feels good. gives me a bit of confidence. You know, I've been here before. You know, be, uh, Jacob's a great competitor, don't get me wrong, but part of me thinks if I've beaten him before, hopefully I'll beat him again. But, you know, we've seen what can happen. Anything can happen in the in the showdown. So, you know, good luck. Best luck, Jacob, is all I can say to you, really. Whoa. This is a kind of a you new. Too, man. This, this is a new Jonas Stowell, and you know what? I like this guy. I like him a lot. But with all that being said, it's time for me to throw out my voice. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the fan movie trivia showdown title match. We are going five rounds. Introducing first the challenger. With a record of four wins, one defeat. Said defeat was at the hands of our current champion, but here he is back for vengeance and back for blood. Give it up for the Aussie, Jacob Blondin! And his opponent, our reigning, undisputed, Undefeated champion of the world, the kid, Jono Stowell. Let's yeah, do this. Round before one, we start, go. Sorry, like, just before we start, I just want to say I am. I have a piece of paper. That is what I'm looking at. And I am looking at my camera so that I don't get distracted. So if anyone's wondering why I'm looking at the bottom corner of my screen, that's why. <laughs> And I would just like to say this. The champ is here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. That yeah, is right. Never got uh, that out of the way. Let's go. All right. Round one is going to go like this. Which I've already... Okay. Round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive four questions from four predetermined categories and sets of twos. Each question is with one point apiece, and there is no stealing in this round. Jono, you are the champion. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first, please, Chris. Okay. And Jacob, please choose either Category 1 or Category 2. Category 2. Sounds good. Case, I will have you read to Jacob in Category 2, and I will read to Jono in Category 1. For your first question, under the category of your guys' favorites... Movie release dates. Mm. <laughs> Lady and the Tramp was released in which year? Uh, Lady and the Tramp, 1955. Nicely done. And the slugfest starts. <laughs> the second question in the category of animated. What is the name of Simba's mom in The Lion King? <sighs> Um, Sarabi. That is correct. Well done. 
Indeed. All right, Jacob, let's see if you can tie it up. In movie release dates, what David Fincher movie was released in 2007? Zodiac. That's correct. Zodiac is correct, indeed, for one point. The second question to tie it up in the category of animated. What is the name of the saber toothed tiger who travels with Sid, Sid and Manny in the Ice Age franchise? Oh, um. Diego. That is correct. That is tie correct. game. Tie game. <clears throat> Woo! There's a reason that these two are going for the belt. Good start. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> All right. Jono, your third question in the category of drama. Who plays Rose's mother, Ruth, in Titanic? Oh, um, Kathy Bates. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she played Mo Molly Brown. Good guess, though. We're looking for Francis Fisher. Okay. Okay. And for your final question, under the category of Star Wars. Oh, fuck. Who <laughs> plays Mon Mothma in Rogue One? Oh, um... Um, Genevieve O'Reilly. Jesus. Yep. That is correct. <sighs> All right. Now, Jacob, you have a chance for a repeat round one performance. Yeah. Indeed. Best so let's see. Category of drama. What is rule number one about Fight Club? You do not talk about Fight Club. Uh, are you that kidding? Man. Correct. All right. Last question for the lead. In category of Star Wars, who directed the 2008 Clone Wars movie? Dave Filoni. That is correct. Perfect Four game points. so far. Holy Jesus! No, this is. Oh man. Round one is done, and oh my God, yeah, this is the reason this is a title match. This there, is there, there, there is a reason. Holy crap! I mean, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Excitement. Contain it. Do it. <laughs> All like right, that? and we come into round two, and it will go as such. Each competitor will choose a number between one through ten, which pertains to either a certain movie category or personal slash rivals preference. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with the second option if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece, though multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. Jake, Jacob, you're in the lead again. Going first. Okay. <laughs> Not making that mistake again. Okay. One through ten. So your categories in this round are classics, Tarantino, 70s movies, fantasy sci-fi, Box office, movie release dates, and horror. Oh, sorry. Uh, and, 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 sorry. And scores and soundtracks. Seven. Really? Fuck me! Oh, no. That is Rivals Preference. Um, uh, horror. I will read Jacob his questions in the category of horror. <clears throat> Jacob, for your first question. Tremors takes place in the small town of Perfection, located in which state? I know this. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. Oh, fuck, does it? Um, Nevada. Two points! Two points, wow. Well done. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Second question. In The Descent, Holly dies when the crawler rips out her what? Sorry, can I have the character again? Holly. Uh, multiple choice. Okay. Option A. Throat. 
B, eyes, C, heart, D, brain. Throat. That is correct. Correct. On point. Well done. Oh my gosh. Okay. Third question. Who played Starla's <laughs> husband, Grant Grant, in Slither? Fuck, he's in every single James Gunn movie. Um, Walking Dead. Yeah. Michael Rocker. That's correct. Oh, two points. Well done. Jeez. Wow. He's killing it in horror. I didn't he is. Holy this. crap. Last question. All right. Here we go. Final question. The category of horror. What was the name of Chris Sarandon's creepy next door neighbor turned vampire in Fright Night? Oh, I know the um. Oh, fuck. I can't remember if it's the same character name as the original in the remake. Um. I know, I know, I know. Do you need the full name or just the name? Just the first name. Jerry. Two points! Oh, wow! Jesus! Big Big. That is well done, Jacob. All right. All right. I am shaking. Like, I am actually shaking. <laughs> he is physically shaking. I'm, I'm a little concerned for his health right now, but... Um, nice. So, Relax. Yeah, just, just chill. <sighs> Have a drink or something. And here we go for Jono. The remaining categories in this round are Tarantino, scores and soundtracks, classics, sci-fi fantasy, 70s, movie release dates, and box office. Please choose number between 1 through 10, and 7 and 4 are off the table. Um, 8. That is the category of Tarantino. Would you like to stick with that or go for something else? I'll stick with it, but I I'll thought you might. <laughs> All right, Jono, your first question in the category of Tarantino films. Mm-hmm. Tarantino has won how many Golden Globes? Oh, um, okay, let me just work this out in my head. Sorry, one, one for, uh, two. That's correct for two points. Well done. Your second question in Tarantino. Who was the narrator in Inglorious Bastards? Samuel L. Jackson. Correct for another two points. Third question. What is Tarantino's character name in Pulp Fiction? Uh, that would be Jimmy Dimmick. Indeed. Two points. Wow, really wanting to, uh, this one. If you hit this last one, uh, two points, you tie the game. So, Uma Thurman was in how many Tarantino movies? Three. Oh, a tie game! Wow! What a round two! 11 points! Both of them! Yeah, no, this is... This is nuts. I... Okay. (laughs) And neither, neither one of these guys are slowing down. No. Neither one, and I'm loving every single second of it. <laughs> so, round three is going to go like this. I have ten questions in front of me. We will go back and forth between the two competitors until the end of this round. I would say in the event of a possible knockout, that would be a thing, but that's not a thing here. <laughs> that's not a thing right now. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. So, know that. <laughs> is there stealing? Is there stealing? There is no. no stealing in this round, and you have 10 seconds to answer. Uh, you ask for Jono? Yeah, you ask for Jono, and yep. ask for Jacob. Yep. Okay, so the category is, and it's all 10 questions in the same of the same category, and that category is movie and actor. We name the character and the movie that character appeared in, we are asking for the actor who played them. Sounds good, guys? Sounds good. Okay. Uh, Jono, because we had the Champions tie game, uh, I will I will have you go first. And Jacob okay. will go second this round. <clears throat> All right. Jono, mm-hmm. your, first ca- your first character. Nikki Lauda in Rush. Um... 
that new bro. That's correct. Correct. All right, Jacob. The character mm-hmm. is Milton Crest and the movie License to Kill. Five. Uh, Anthony's about. Wow. That's correct. Tied. Tied. Still tied. No one is letting up. Okay. Jono. I feel like it's cheating almost. Shoshana Dreyfus in Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. Uh, um. Melanie Laurent. That's correct. Jesus Christ. Christ. All right, Jacob. The yeah. character is Hell Nine Thousand in Two Thousand One: A Space Odyssey. Um, that would be oh, fuck. Who did his voice? Oh my God, who did the voice? Who did the voice? Who did the voice? Five, <laughs> four, three, two. Douglas one. Rain. Wow, that is correct. I love that. Jacob is just somehow pulling it out. And Jono, to be fair, is just chomping at the bit of every single one of these. And speaking of, Jono, here's your next one. Hamish in Braveheart. Uh, um, oh, uh, isn't it? Um, uh, oh, my word. Um, oh, um, Brendan Gleeson. Nice. <laughs> Right. Right, Jacob, I, I also kind of feel this is a little bit of cheating. Sean Parker in the social network. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> that Aussie link, mate. <laughs> All right, Jono. Mola Ram in Temple of Doom. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Um. Oh um. Amish Puri. Wow. Oh, wow. Fuck. Oh my god. All right. Pick up Randall in Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. Uh, Steve Buscemi. Yep. Tie game. Tie game still. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously. Okay. Jono. Ellen Brody in Jaws. Oh, um, yeah, it's, uh, Roy Scheider. Oh, no, <gasps> that's, that's, we were looking for the wife, I, Lorraine Perry. I heard Brody. I didn't hear yeah. you say it. I did. Ellen I, Brody. I, I said Ellen Brody. I just heard, oh, okay, mom said, Brody. I just heard Brody. All right, then, take up this last one. It's to take the lead. Fuck. Fuck. Character is Meryl Hello. Burbank in The Truman Show. Uh, is that the wife or is that the girlfriend? Uh, Five. Oh, I'm going to take a punt. It's the wife. Three. Laura Linney. Take the lead! Indeed, you take the lead. Fuck. Fuck. If I'd have heard you said Ellen, I would have got Fuck, I hate that. It's one of those things. One of those things. Uh, Happens. <sighs> okay. But still, just one point difference. We two, still have two rounds left. This is anyone's game. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> All right. So, now we come into round four, and here's how it's going to go. Now, because we don't quite have, you know, the whole whiteboard thing, I have both Jacob and Jono in separate Facebook messages where they will give me their wager <laughs> for this, this round, and they will give me their answer. And upon the end of the question, once they both give me their answer, I will have them say their answer which they wrote and sent to myself this is called the betting round this is the betting round our interpretation of it <laughs> yeah you know, best best we can do on a budget guys how many so, points you can bet anywhere from one or from from, no, from zero to three points in this round Sounds good. And the cat- category is something that you guys are pretty good with, I'd say. It's movie release dates. <laughs> okay. And how many can we wager up to? Up to three. three. What the? 
Okay. Now. Your question is. What year saw the release of movies from the following franchises? Monty Python, Superman, James Bond, and Star Wars. I'm giving you 15 seconds to give me your answer. We, sorry, are we messaging it to you? or You're messaging yeah. the answer to me, and then once the, when, the, when the time is up, you will say your answer. I've messaged you the point. Okay, sorry. Um, no, no, and you were supposed to. You were supposed to. You were supposed to. Okay. I did what I think. I've never done that before. Five, so four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. All right. Time's up. Okay. Jacob, I want you to tell me how much you wagered and what your answer was. Three points and 1983. Okay. That and is... Jono. Well, tell me your wager and, and tell me your answer. Three points, 1983. Both, Both correct. correct. 1980. I believe by one point still. <sighs> wow. As we come into round oh, five, fuck. the score. Our favorite. 18 <sighs> to 19. Jono is just only one point behind. So here's how this is going to work. It's like a, it's like a typical round three. Each competitor will be given the year, genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If they know the answer from that information alone, they will receive five points. However, two more keywords are needed. The total possible goes down to three points. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible goes down to one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Jacob, because you are in the lead, please choose... Either movie number one, one or movie number two. Movie number one. one. Movie number one. Okay. okay. Don't know. Your year is 2008. The okay. genres are action, sci-fi, and the first three plot keywords are inventor, suit, and military. <clears throat> Iron Man. Five points! Five points! Two. The wow. Game. All right. Now, here's the thing. If Jacob hits the five, he wins the title. If he loses, if he misses the five, Jono. So it's that simple. Okay. Jacob, your year is 2010. Your genres, action, comedy, fantasy. And your first three plot keywords are hipster, death battle, and dream girl. That would be Scott Pilgrim versus the world. And your winner! And new fan movie trivia showdown! Champion of the world! The Aussie Jacob Blunden! Oh my wow. god! <laughs> the champ has been dethroned! My mother is celebrating with me! <laughs> what the hell is going on? It shows, I'd just like to say congratulations to Jason, because it, it shows, it shows because I, I missed two questions in that whole match. I missed two questions. Uh, and one of them was me mishearing it, that's my, my fault, it happens. But, you know, the fact that I lost, Having only missed two questions. I think from, there have been past matches where I've won by about five points and missed about three questions. You know, so it shows that so Jay, Jacob, Jacob really brought his game to there, only missing one question. So he deserves the belt. But I tell you this, Chris, I want another shot. And you will What's get it there? in the tournament. Rest assured. What a, what a great. Uh, Passing of the baton of the belt now to the champion, Jacob Blunden. How you are you right doing? <laughs> how are you feeling? How, how are you still breathing? That's what I want to know. But I'm just gonna. I'm glad it's 12:30 because I need to. I'm just gonna collapse and oh, holy shit! That must be the highest scoring match, by the way. 
it is it, the it is a scoring it's... match we've had to date with a final um, score 24 to 23 24 to 23 we holy shit we just broke the actual showdown record <laughs> yeah now <laughs> the th now the thing is this is a five round uh, game so it's easy to score more points but still still um this is not Eternal fucking sunshine, I got it back. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> yep. Oh shit. Uh, Case, <laughs> final thoughts as we wrap this up. We actually did this. <laughs> that, that, this is something we created, we made, and it was so fucking good. I mean, this is awesome. Uh, Congrats to Jacob and Jono, both of them. I mean, Jono, you lost, but just by one point, scoring 23 uh, points total. That's nothing to be, like, uh, ashamed of or anything. That was a fucking great match. Just both of them brought their A-game. This was a fucking amazing match, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, all that being said, holy shit, we have a new champion. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, but now, before, one last thing for real. Uh, so, Jono. You are now the number one ranked seed in the tournament. Yeah. And Jacob, do you have the aspiration to compete in the tournament, or are you going to sit this one out? Oh, hell no. I just got this belt. I ain't giving it up anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm hanging on to it. Oh, Good okay. choice. That's what I did. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair thing. enough. Fair enough. Well, I don't want to lose it to him in a tournament. No, no. <laughs> or any or anyone else someone for that matter. Someone else can beat him down. But because oh, I don't think I could do that again. Oh jeez. Well, I I I, I got the feeling who's pointing at me on that one, and I'll blame because I'll be coming for that belt myself in the tournament. So, that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Holy shit, I'm still amazed by how this match turned out. I am the unofficial Harlop, Chris Skywalker. For the assassin, Case Tornalesa, we will see you at the next match. Take care! <laughs>